The way it meant to be played program from NVIDIA is actually a unified uh, signature of quality. So for a gamer it's a benefit. If a gamer uh, sees a game which says it's, this is like stemmed from NVIDIA, uh, that means essentially there's a quality uh, signature from NVIDIA saying this, this graphics card, this game run together. And I think it's critical from our side of view, from gamers point of view, game developer point of view. If the gamer gets a game and the hardware which the game runs on, and, and it runs at a certain quality bar, which is guaranteed in this case, from the gamers point of view it means also less hassle with drivers and issues. We spend a lot of time making sure we get the right lighting, the atmospheric shadings, the atmospheric scattering effects, and DirectX 10 helped us to refine that a lot. Today we have a technology called Parallax Occlusion Mapping, which is essentially, not only you can see the wrinkles, but also they actually are really deep and the cast is that shadowed on itself, so they cast shadows into their own pixels. And that's only achievable in DX10 right now. And these kind of things make the world just more believable. You stand there and you see everything moving, light moves, shadow moves, you see wind creating, you see trees breaking, objects breaking, all of that kind of immersion and the atmosphere filling up with density, that's where DirectX, come, uh, DirectX 10 comes to play. Advanced users actually can crank up even the specs more than what we exposed initially through the UI. So we, we go up to very high configurations, but if somebody really goes crazy, of course with the super high resolutions and uh, anti aliasing everything up, and also enabling some of the shadows features which we disabled because that would even bring DirectX 10.1 into news essentially. We just said we have it there, and in the future when the hardware catches up, we just release a patch which detects the new hardware, and voila, guys look state of the art already in one year, like even in one year still. So we built in scalability for the future and for the past, not only for the moment. And uh, that is very critical because that means we are future ready. Whenever new hardware comes out, we just auto-update the crisis to detect that and this game will look even better.